We are learning more about an Adair County man murdered in his home Saturday morning. Police say Earl Coffey was killed by a man who had recently been evicted from rental property across the street. Joseph South is the suspect. Phil Pendleton talked to Coffey's relatives who say a man who worked on a family farm for generations was taken from them. This land near the Adair Russell County line has been farmed for generations and Earl Coffey was a big part of those efforts. Of course he was in his 80s, but uh, still actively, well, as much as he could, he was caring for his wife, you know. But early Saturday morning, police say Coffey was murdered by a man that had been renting from him. Police say two weeks after the sheriff had served an eviction order, Joseph South walked across the street and fired into Coffey's home, killing the 86-year-old man. He'd be greatly missed. He was kind of a mentor, you know, as far as that goes. Relatives say that Joseph South had rented from Coffey for about 10 years, and Coffey never had any trouble with him. Police say that not only did he kill Coffey, but he put a lot of other people in harm's way, including Coffey's wife, his son, daughter-in-law, and a grandchild, as there were multiple rounds fired into that home. Coffey lived on property the Coffey's have farmed since the 1880s. He was also an Army veteran and served during the Berlin Berlin crisis of 1961. He's the kind of person you want to emulate, you know, as far as, uh, as far as wanting to be like, you know, as far as uh, agriculture is concerned. Funeral services for coffee will be at 2 o'clock Saturday at the Stotts Phelps McCurry Funeral Home. Joseph South pleaded not guilty to the charges today. He will be back in court April 1st for a preliminary hearing.